You don't know move pools and uh, like abilities. Oh, of course, of course. Well, Poppy, it's just gonna right. have torrent. Oh, right. Is that right? It's the water starter. Oh yeah. <laughs> what are you chatting? <laughs> yeah, probably only hidden abilities are going to be interesting in those guys. Even then, I don't think they're going to be that interesting. Well, you you wouldn't have said there was going to be an interesting ability on Froki if you didn't know. Oh yeah, I guess that's that's one thing. Thing. And then protein was a thing. Yeah. I mean, what other Pokemon do you have protein? Kecleon, right? Yeah, only Kecleon. Makes sense that they gave it to Kecleon. I actually would have been really pissed if they didn't. But it's the hidden ability for both of them, isn't it? Or does, is it the normal ability for Kecleon? No. Normal ability for Kecleon is color change. Yeah, so how does one go about getting protein in general? Dream World. Oh, yeah. Dream World Kecleon or um, Friend Safari. Oh, yeah, Friend Safari. That seems like the most viable Really? Why does he only have a Quilava? Does he only have a Quilava? He had a Meganium for me. Quilava. They had a Meganium for me. What level was it? Probably 32. Well, that would be good. Maybe because Typhlosion doesn't evolve to like 34. Or Quilava doesn't become Typhlosion until 34. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm putting up where you... What point level are you picking down? You're picking up one point down. Yeah, that. Was... Don't listen to me. I was eating till like 11.30 yesterday on stream. I know, I was there. <laughs> yeah, you were. So were a lot of other people. Yeah, like 28 other people, right? Yeah. It's the second most viewed stream I've ever had. What, Just what me was the eating. Most? Um, a 12 hour live stream at some point when I got hosted by somebody else, I got like 52 views. Nice. So, I'm still in the Rocket Hideout, and I'm officially the same level as the highest level Pokémon in the Elite Four. Nice. Congrats. Just slightly too powerful. Is there such a thing as too powerful, though? Yeah. Is there...? No one man should have all that power. That was said by the genius that is Kanye West. He should try to run for president. I know, right? Honestly, though, because... He is running 2020. Yeah, he's running 2020. My question is, who do you think would win there? Donald Trump or Kanye West? Kanye West. Any day of the week, mate. I would be... tempted to disagree with you. But you're probably right. People would definitely vote for him just because, like, fans and stuff. What has this wood come to? I don't know. Let's just do a max it, America exit. A max it, gross. Yeah, we just kick off the U.S. from this entire planet. Just place it on the moon. There's nothing wrong with the U.S. The fact that Donald Trump has a serious chance of becoming it's president. It's just the people, not the country. <laughs> oh yeah, no, The country definitely. beautiful. The, the physical landscape has done nothing wrong. That's what I'm saying, it's great. Just put all the... Okay, so just put all the Americans on the moon, then. And again, not all of them, but like most of them. No, not all of them. It's like a couple of them can stay. Like, five. I'm thinking, how many American people do I know? Not that many. So I wouldn't know, really. I just base my opinion of Americans purely over the internet, and that's certainly a smart thing to do. Certainly. Nothing could go wrong there. Not at all.
Oh my god. I thought I had done everything for the radio tower, but now I gotta go back up with the card key. I totally fucking forgot. Oh, what, did you go all the way away to Blackthorn or something? No, 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 no. Oh, does it remind you at the end that you gotta go back up? Yeah, it gives you the card keys. Like, yeah, now go back up. Oh, this gives you the amulet coin. That's, cool. That's neat. That's cool. It's a bit late, isn't it? Uh, considering that you're really only halfway through the game at this point. Yeah, I guess. If you do Kanto. There's plenty of money to be made. And your mum's going to be real happy about that. <laughs> yeah, she'll be like, oh, money! So, how does the amulet coin work? They see you have the amulet coin and just give you more money as a result? Like, oh, this dude's got stuff, let's give him more money. Maybe. Maybe it's magic. Yeah, it doubles the money magically. Does it double your money? I think it doubles your doubles money. Doubles it, right? yeah. Yup, yup. Double. At this point, I don't know in the Pokemon universe what doubles and what like multiplies by 1.53 times. That's I'll specific what, amount. Nothing of goes by 1.53. No? Nope. Ah. Not even damage calculations. No. I've actually been no. looking up the damage calculations. I know you have. That's why I asked. Oh, okay. The damage calculation uses... It divides everything by 100, uh, 250 at one point. And okay. uh, it also does some other stuff. Like, uh, I think there's also divide something by 3. So have you looked into the experience curve? No, not yet. Are you going to? Oh yeah, I'm going to need to. Okay, because that is something that really does interest me. The way I think it works is every Pokemon is assigned a certain value, like an experience value. Yeah, a max experience points no. needed for level 100. No, not, right? not that kind of thing. Oh, you're talking right. about that level. I'm talking about a EXP given from enemies. Oh, no, no. That also kind of works. That's based on HP, isn't it? I don't know. I assume that you're given... Because Blissey gives a shit on. Yeah, I think so. I'm not really sure. Also, I just tested your thing about the... Um, What's it called? The EXP share. Yeah. All it does is it gives you half twice. It gives you half twice, okay. It gives so, you the same amount, but with two text boxes instead of one. So it actually takes up more time. Yeah. More doing that. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be even slower than you just generally. Because there's two text you boxes. You get two text boxes every, every single time. Yeah. But... I don't know. You probably it need it. it. I, don't know. I would say you probably need it. No, I mean, uh, like, experience calculations, uh, how much experience you need for any given level. It's probably not that difficult of an equation, actually. No, like, they probably just, like, have an exponential curve. It's an exponential curve uh, from zero to the max... Uh, max experience you need to get to level 100. Yeah, is it not just double each time? Oh, uh, possibly, yeah. I don't know, it probably does. I... Does it double? Double seems a l actually like a lot. No, it might, it might be a I have no clue. It definitely multiplies by something. Because level zero exists, and you only need one experience point to get from level zero to level one. It's like initial experience, because you have to start with one experience point. Okay, I didn't know that. I'm looking this up. Because I can't see it doubling every single time. Pokemon... Uh, experience curve calculation. Yeah. Curve... Calculation... Maybe it's just on Bulbapedia. On the... Uh, it, should, it probably will be, to be honest. On the article about experience. Also, I, 
I don't want to look at this on Google Maps. So there's a graph here. Relation to level, there's fast, medium fast, medium slow, slow, fluctuating. There's a fluctuating. Huh? I, yeah, I thought. Fast requires 800,000 experience to get to level 100. Medium fast is a million. Medium slow requires 1,095,860. And they actually, oh, they give equations um, with it, yeah. To do. Oh, that's actually pretty fucking complicated. <laughs> the, oh no, that's the erratic group. Um, so, experience for fast level curves is experience equals uh, 4 times n to the third over 5. Uh, n being. Uh, level, I suppose? I guess. So that's like level 10, 4 times 10 to the 3rd is 40 to the 3rd, it's a little high number divided by 5. Medium force is just n to the 3rd. And then with medium slow you get, wow, no, that's, no. Not doing a math uh, video today. <laughs> Look into it, it's rather interesting. No. Well, I'm gonna have to. They need to work out experience curves. But yeah, it is exponential. I mean, of course it is. Yeah. Well, I'm really intrigued though, because, um,. There's one at the very bottom, I mean, it's going medium slow, slow, and then it's fluctuating. Fluctuating experience groups uh, contain Pokemon which uh, grow the slowest of all, reaching level 100 with a whopping 1,640,000 experience points. It also, unsurprisingly, is the smallest group only containing four, sp 14 species. I guess that's like legendaries, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, interestingly enough, actually, the group that's called fluctuating uh, needs the most amount of experience to get to level 100, but getting from level 1 to level 10 only requires 540 experience, whereas if you're in a medium-slow group, it requires 560 experience. Wacky. So, the first couple of levels on these Pokemon, which you're never gonna grind them up these levels because they're legendaries and you'll get them at like level 50 and above, are actually quicker than normal Pokemon. Interesting. Maybe that's uh, showing they've got inherent power, power already. And like, that they're unlocking and Maybe that's just how work. maths work. But yeah, probably, because uh, the equation for that one is also the most... Most complicated. Um, most complicated by far, yeah. Like, just looking at it for a second makes my head hurt a little bit. And in the meantime, I have gotten to the Rocket Executive. Yeah? Yes. I think I, I think have. I've just finished the puzzle. Which puzzle? The underground oh, one. Uh... Actually, now that I'm on the article for experience anyway, I'm going to read a little bit more. Experience gain in battle. Is there an equation for that somewhere? Gain formula? Oh yeah, that one is actually... That... Wow! Um, 
Yeah, you have to look in that, to that yourself. That's not easy. <laughs> That's some math going on there. Or as your British people would say, maths. Yep, maths. <laughs> yep, that's what we say. Can you explain to me why there isn't an S? Mathematics. The maths? It's an abbreviation of the word mathematics. Okay, yeah, that actually does make sense. Of course it does. Because it, we made the language. Why is there a U in color? I don't know. We don't say color. I think it's from French or something. From the word colores. I think it has a U in it. I'll let you slide on that one. You'll get away with it this time. Thanks, mate. Just because you gave an actual good answer to maths. It seems it feels really unnatural for me to say maths. Well, I just fucked Team Rocket. Giovanni just committed suicide in this uh, point in the timeline, actually. Yeah. Wait a second, when do you go do the ho ho and Lugia thing? Before Blackthorn even? I didn't think you had to. You might not have to, but I just got to Rainbow Wing. And you probably have to go do it now. I'm gonna try to go to Blackthorn and see if I can do anything there. And if I can't, I will. Because I don't need ho ho. I would love Lugia. <laughs> I would also love to get the Master Ball before. Yeah, I'm only going there if I have to Master Ball. I'm, you only get that when you go to Kanto. So. Really? You get it, like... Or after the 8th gym, actually, I think. That's what I thought. Well, it's pretty much the same. Uh, I went to Newbark Town. <sighs> That's another four seconds you'll win on me. How long have we been recording for, actually? One hour and 19 minutes. That went quickly. I just looked up some experience curves and we're an hour up. Wow. I know, right? I'm aware that I only looked up experience curves in the last, like, ten minutes, <laughs> probably. You don't need to point that out in the, in the comments. I'm going to point out in the comments. No, I'm not. I'm going to forget. You're going to forget. <laughs> yeah, you are. So yeah, you can definitely just go to Blackthorn without doing the whole uh, horror thing. Or Lugia thing. Are you still already started the final gym? Uh, I am battling the first person in the last gym right now. Oh. Intro animation is playing. He is called Cool Trainer Powell. Paul. Paul, oh, probably. Uh, yeah. And he's got a Dratini at level 34. Which, unsurprisingly, I do one shot. Of course, you're 16 levels higher, roughly. I'm level 51. 17 levels higher. I'm one level higher than Lance's Dragonite. I feel like I'll be fine. Don't know why. Am I annoying yet? No. Because I did the Damn exact it. same thing. <laughs> you did. Yeah, I don't get annoyed, really, at that many things, to be honest. But I'm even more overleveled comparatively than you were with Clam. Yeah. Because you were the same level at the end. I am above his level even before I get there. But I'm gonna get to Lance, I'll be like 10 levels Is Lance, is Lance level. the champion? Lance is the champion. Oh, okay. And his highest level Pokemon is level 50. That's disappointing. 
It is. Because being in the last gym, I'm already level 51. And before this gym is over, I'll probably be level 52, if not 53. By the time I get to Lance, I'll probably be like 65-ish. But they can't make him too over level because otherwise a red Pikachu would have had to be in like level 100. It's like level 81, right? Uh, yeah, it's the uh, most powerful Pokemon in a trainer battle up until I think Hard God and Soul Silver, where it's again red Pikachu. Uh, because they they increase its level in the remakes to yeah, level it, 80. It, yeah, it's, uh, it's 81 86. in the remake, is what I'm saying. I was 81 in the remake. Yeah. Because I think it's like five levels higher in the remake than it is in the originals. Something along those lines, at least. Definitely have to do this, otherwise they wouldn't place into it there. But yeah, and then until like level... There's a level 100 trainer somewhere in Generation 5, I do believe. Which is a level 100 Pokémon. Or at least very high. Yeah. Higher than uh, Rats Pikachu. It's a Game Freak uh, executive dude. Oh, okay. Which I don't like it that they... Uh, throwing in final bosses with insanely high Pokemon is amazing. It's a great thing to do that. But at least in this game, they're like, let's make it Rats. It's protagonist for the last game. And then I think Pokemon... Black and white as well. You, you I think can play through the black and white, yeah. Uh, can you? In the World Championship yeah. game. Yeah. But just as a optional boss, uh, Cynthia is in there as yeah. well. He's in black and white too. Black and white too. I like that much more than in black and white one, where you have Game Freak employee number 352. Just some Game Freak dude who plays himself into the game like that. I don't like that. I liked it. I much prefer. Cool. Well, I think the battle is cool. I just don't think that having it being in a random building like that is uh, is all that cool. Just a random building, a random dude. I prefer to have something like in universe, if that makes sense. Yeah, I get, I get that. Uh, um, wait, what? Oh, I did it the wrong way around. I'm stupid. I like this gym. I forgot that this gym was different in this game from the remake. I like most gyms are actually. Yeah. But I like this uh, this version of the gym quite a bit. Which is the standard version. Just a standard uh, gold and silver version, yeah. There isn't even a puzzle to it, right? Uh, yeah, you have to do some strength boulders. Oh, okay. Like you do in Icy Path. It's quite easy. I'll admit that, but... Easy doesn't mean bad. You know which redesign of a gym I didn't like? What? The Moss Deep City gym in Omega Ruby Alpha it. Sapphire. I hate the new Moss Deep City. I liked Moss Deep City in Emerald, that gym. I hate the fact that you literally just fight a single double battle as the final boss. There's like Tate and Liza, they literally just have a Soul Rock and a Loon Zone. Yeah. It's, it's so disappointing. It's not. It's like the whole double battle gym is like gone. Because <laughs> it's not a double battle gym anymore. Like you literally only have to do one double battle, and that's the gym leader. Before you, every fight was a double battle. Well, in Emerald, you could choose. If you played your cards correctly, you could uh, play some uh, battles as not double battles, but you have to think about what you do. That's why I like the Emerald one. It's designed to have double battles, but you can work around it if you don't want that. 
Well, that's dumb. It makes the puzzle much more interesting, in my opinion. But some of them still are required double battles, I do believe. I'm real tempted to just go get ho -Oh. Yeah? After I get to Master Ball. I'm gonna- I have to get Lugia. Uh, if you're gonna get Lugia, it, I'm gonna get Hero, otherwise it's actually unfair. Because Lugia also takes longer in general than Hero yep. to get. Then again, I might want to have that head start because she's in generation 3 and 4, this is just saying. If I have a good Master Ball, it'll take me just a couple of minutes to get, uh, to get her out. It's not that big a deal. Because I'm facing Kingdra right now. Yeah, you're already gonna have a really good head start on me. Yeah. So skipping something that I don't even... That's not that big a deal to me. It seems... Oh, shit. Am I going to... Oh, shit. I pushed. You son of a bitch. Are you gonna die? Uh, now I've got potions. Also, critical hit. Hyper beam! Never mind, I think I'm gonna die. I survived with 7 HP! <laughs> yep, got my last gym badge. Well, I didn't get the badge yet, did I? So, on the one hand side, I do like how after beating Claire, you still have to do another challenge to get the last gym badge. On the other hand side, bitch, I just beat you. Yeah. What is it with gym leaders not giving you the gym badge in this game? Whitney's all like, eh, I'm crying, fuck off. Whitney's just a little bitch. Claire's just being, being an asshole. a little bitch. Oh, Claire. Yeah. Fair enough. Nobody ever did that again after this game, did they? Nope. They just change it around. Rather than doing something after the gym, you have to do something before the gym. Yeah, which is much better. That makes more sense to me. The whole premise of go get the gym leader or not in the gym because they have an actual job to do seems more realistic to me. Oh yeah, I need Whirlpool now, don't I? For fuck's sake, I hope I'll... Am I gonna have to teach it to Feraligator? I don't wanna teach it to You've Feraligator. You've got a spare slot, right? Slash, bite, surf. Strength. Oh, strength. Well... Uh, I'm gonna try and catch this Dratini. That can probably learn Whirlpool. Can it? I don't know. Let's see if it can. And it's not gonna stay in. Hmm. Of course it's not. Dratini's catch rate is super low. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Let's just kill it. Fuck it. It'll maybe level me up. No, it won't. It's level 10. That was my logic. It's level 10, so I probably don't need to uh, weaken it. Its catch rate is still like 15. I can dream. Yeah, I'm gonna have to teach it to... Oh, fuck. So, I have to get rid of Bite or Slash? Bite. 
only ghost or Pokemon I'm gonna face from now on out is one Gengar. What about the psychic type? Whoa. On the Elite Four. Oh, fuck, you're right. I mean, I'll be overpowered, so I can just surf. Or slash. But I can't progress if I don't have Whirlpool. And I'd rather have Slash for general coverage than Blight for having super effective against like five Pokemon in total, I think. And again, Strength does have the same power. But Blight is. Ah, I'm gonna get rid of Blight. Dratini can't learn Whirlpool for reference. Okay. So, I just wasted a Great Ball on something and then it wouldn't have been able to do a thing anyway. Nope. <laughs> and I've got the eighth batch. Congratulations. Don't tell me I also need Waterfall. I do, don't I? Yep. I'm not teaching Waterfall to Freligator, fuck that. I need Slash. Catching another Water type. If only I had caught Gyarados. Would have been useful. Mm. What level is Lugia when you catch it? Do you know? 45? Okay. I would say... You can't buy ultra ultra balls and golden rod. Mm. 